Dodo bird going viral. This showed up on Facebook. I don't know where it originated from. It looks really good, but notice how the iguana, the green iguana, is crystal clear. Yeah. See, he's crystal yes, clear. Yeah, nice. And he's crystal clear no matter where he is in the frame, isn't he? Mm-hmm. This was taken somewhere in the Caribbean, which I agree with because that type of iguana right there looks to be a male common iguana. I think it's a male because his jowls, yeah. they're all swelled up. And that's a dodo bird. No <laughs> doubt about it. All right, so aside from the fact that the iguana, when he's in the foreground or in the background here, I enlarged it so you could see the dodo bird. There's no real indication of CGI going on there. I mean, they CGI'd it. They did an extremely good job, but the video has been edited because it's been cut. Yeah, yeah. Circles have been added. And the only explanation I can say is why the dodo bird is never ever clear is it's either related to Sasquatch, blurry. Oh, just dog. Oh, Bigfoot's blurry. <laughs> or they added it after the fact because the iguanas. It looks CGI to me. Yeah. I mean, it's always just perfectly, you know, positioned. I mean, when you see other animals, they're usually not, you know, just. But the dodo bird there. is always is always, you know, is always blurry, and. This has probably got a really, um, you know, small aperture, so it's set up so that things in the foreground and in the background are always in focus. I don't know that. Yeah, it's not auto-focusing, otherwise the iguana wouldn't be... I'm telling you this. Okay. I'm not asking, I'm telling you. I've, you know, I've taken photography courses. That's this is fine. how. This is how when you want to get something far away and in the foreground at the same time in focus, you use a small aperture. Thus, this dodo should be in focus. But what if he's too close to the camera? But he's the same place the iguana. But anyways, we're moving on. Right. The other problem is that dodos originated off the coast of Madagascar, not in the Caribbean, which is where this supposedly was. Maybe this is the only flying dodo. Come <laughs> Would on. that be nice? Even if it flew, or as some people have suggested, even if sailors dropped it off there, the reasons that dodo birds went extinct, aside from the fact that people were eating the hell out of them, is because they had no defense against rats, feral dogs, cats. And there are plenty of predators there. Right. I mean, they survived on these islands they were found on because they were isolated there and they didn't have any natural predators. So even if a ship captain took a whole bunch of dodos and dropped them off someplace in the Caribbean, the chances of them surviving in the jungle that's filled full of all sorts of predators yeah. is extremely unlikely so when you look at the fact that it's unlikely that they could have survived being transplanted and why is the thing always blurry and the iguanas in the same spot is clear it looks to me like somebody's fabricated the video yeah of course for some reason for video hits yeah so that is my analyses but it's cool otherwise It'd be cool to have a dodo. Oh, yeah. Maybe they can clone oh, one, like, at a cute. Jurassic Park. Yeah, that'd be nice. Those things got up to, like, 50 pounds. Oh, that's a big bird. Yeah, 50 pounds. Oh, my goodness. Thanksgiving. No wonder the sailors ate them all. Yeah. 50 pounds of juicy succulents. It's like that guy in, in Venezuela. He told me that the really rare birds were super tasty. Yeah. The best-tasting critters are extinct.